beer is a 39 minute workout. I made a post yesterday on Facebook and I said that if I could fix everybody's squat, I would be happy. Okay, so today I'm going to show you what a great squat looks like and I'm going to give you a couple tips to achieve that. And my wife is taping and she loves to make me laugh, so I'm going to try to get through this without messing it up. Okay, so um, here's what a good squat looks like. I'll show you from the front and then from the side. So shoulder width stance and I'm going to sit with my elbows towards my knee nice and tall and then stand. And you want to get at least down to the knees if you want to call it a squat, okay? So from the side, I want to sit down to the knees or beyond, nice and tall, and then stand, okay? You can see, hopefully, a nice arch in my back as I come down and then standing, okay? A couple of problems I see in most people who squat when they come in, when they squat, they throw themselves forward like this. If your head's way in front of your feet, it's not a good squat. So people don't have flexibility or strength, so they throw it forward, and now it becomes this hard on the back exercise. And the second one, and probably even worse, is what they call valgus of the knee. And this happens, this is why those of you who have strength issues shouldn't be doing high impact jumping, um, because if you don't know how to squat and you jump and your knees are buckling in, you're creating some massive risk for injury. So what I see with people is they set up too wide and then they come down and they do this with the knee. And this is asking for major injuries. You start playing basketball or running. Every time you're running, your knee's doing this. If you don't have the strength to maintain those knees out, you're, it, it needs to be fixed, okay? so. What I want to see when you squat is shoulder width and I want to see you literally push your knees out like as if instead of there, you want to push them out so when you come down, they go out like that, okay? So that's one and you can fix that by putting bands around the knee and ankle and they'll try and force in and then you squat and force those knees out at the same time so you practice the art of not letting it buckle in. That'll teach you to fire your glutes and keep the knees pushed out. And the second one, the one that really helps develop a nice vertical squat here is the face the wall squat, okay? So start off with your feet about six to 12 inches. Start off really easy, about six to 12 inches from the wall. And your object, objective is to squat down and pick this thing up without doing anything funky, okay? without turning your knees out or dragging down your face down the wall. The goal is to get nice and close to this wall and be able to pick it up and stand up with it. If you can do that, you're squatting great, okay? So here's what the drill looks like. I am going to sit back in my heels and find that balance point. And I promise you folks, when I learned this five, six years ago, probably six or seven years ago, I couldn't do it either. I, I would lean forward and feel like I was falling backwards. And through drilling this drill, I now can squat toes against the wall and sit back and not fall over. So practice the bands pushing the knees out. Practice the face the squat, wall squat in the beginning of your workouts and you will perfect the squat too. The squat is the single most important exercise for all human beings. You can pick things up, climb steps, play sports safely and protect those knees, okay? That's the tip for the day, good luck.